need to change the pace uh, when they do this shit. You just play our game and be okay. But for yeah, defense, right, I think what you guys need to do is just be aggressive. But you stop when you don't see them. Yeah. Don't go look for them. Bro, you're playing DRX, right? Eh? <laughs> play exactly like that. If they suddenly quiet for another 10 seconds, they'll be pushed together after that. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Bro. Should we do that, boys? Yeah, yeah. Let's, go. Let's go, guys. Let's go, boys. Woo. Depois da derrota do primeiro Masters né, na grande final, foi a nossa primeira derrota como um time, né, que dá na áudio. The green wall of Optic make Reykjavik their own. Mas eu obviamente queria mais, então acho que me deu mais motivação essa derrota, a melhorar. E muita coisa mudou na minha vida, na verdade. Primeiro que eu perdi muito peso, <risos> então eu mudei muito minha rotina. Eu comecei a dormir muito melhor. Eu comecei a levar a minha vida mais como um atleta profissional, né? Sugar? 60 grams? What the fuck? Não, não, não. Eu just leave you. É difícil, tem que ter muita disciplina. Mas eu estou tentando também. Eu só eu não sou perfeito nisso ainda, não. So, ok, você quer me ficar no meio e depois aqui para o lugar. E você vai encontrar a posição. Ok? Eu acho que entrando agora no grupo stage, não nos playoffs direto, a gente tem que pensar que vamos ter mais jogos, a gente vai entrar mais ligado pro campeonato, assim, mais aquecido. A gente viu que a Optic, por exemplo, veio do grupo stage e conseguiu vencer o campeonato. Então é um exemplo claro que tam a Loudic também consegue fazer isso. My name is Finesse, and I play for Optic Gaming. In the Indian culture, it's not a normal thing for your child to go out and become a pro gamer. I definitely had some fights with my parents early on in my life. I think they kind of realized that I had a real passion for it. Guys, calm down. Oh my god. I, Everyone oh calm. Oh my god. I want calm. Play the retakes correctly. Play your lives. We have this in the bag already and eventually they understood I'm grateful for that I'd like to think I'm the best I've always felt that way to be able to prove that not just to ourselves but to other people felt really really good this Optic squad who are looking to claim themselves something that hasn't been done before, two global championships. We haven't had someone who can do it consistently every international event. That's a lot of pressure, but I think out of all of the teams, this is the one I felt most confident could do that. To be able to win a second time, even with all those odds against us, would definitely just prove once and for all that we're the best to ever play this game. Group A is just a slaughterhouse one of which I'm not entirely sure how some of those teams were going to get out of there. They're going to have to fight tooth and nail. Yeah. Latam versus Brazil in the group of death. And Laos has everything to prove as well. Laos need to get something done here as all the utility is just looking to try and damage the bomb. This game's always starts so quickly. Yeah. 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 Two to one, taking down loud. And we lost to Latan one more time. And we didn't break the curse. Good. This shit. The grand finalists are still mortal. And Optic, they sometimes start a little shaky in these group stages. They certainly do. 
they find themselves currently a map down in this series versus Guild. Warm. Fine. We know they can bleed, bro. It's fine. Yeah. And what a response from Guild. A question asked of them and an answer delivered. Marv whips out the free gun, but now the line of side oh. angles. It's there for them. A fast retake crashes. They just could barely get their bearings, but now down to the 1v1. Guild, moments away. Leo, ultimate on line. Leo rips it across the water finish. And that is them. Besting the Reykjavik champions. What an insane performance from Guild. Optic Gaming versus Loud. Your grand finals of Reykjavik. One team is going to get eliminated before they even make it out of the group. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. The word revenge is too much, I think. I mean, it's tight, right? So tiebreaker would be good. For the most part, we're very similar. So it's kind of dope that we're able to have that tiebreaker match and you know, see once and for all who's better. It's elimination today. Teams will be going home. Plus, we'll be sending someone to playoffs. Yay, you gotta face the music on this one. It's a 1v4. because we were up. It's fine. It's fine. Nice pass. Last one alive. The three players from Optic. Very much ready to take us there. We are going the distance and rightly so, Mike. This one deserves all three. Forget that the second game existed. Just focus on splits. Keep our heads up. Time could have been a problem, but forced to back away. Static though stopped in the doorway, oh, no. and it's a tick. Wait, what? Oh, what a fumble! And, and, and what a time! This could be a disaster. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Oh, it's all gone absolutely awry. Yay now gets to roam free, punishes Sassy. This is not how it's meant to be. Taspas, last one alive. And Optic, stay alive. Of course, I felt sad for losing, not being able to get to the playoffs. But my whole team is here, so I need to just to keep smiling because it's not over yet. So we still have champions and we are already qualified for it. So yeah, I think we just need to rest and get ready for champions. It was such a close game, it could have gone either way. But the fact that we won and made it 2-1 in our rivalry, we finally solidified that we were better. It sucks that we had to knock them out, but at the end of the day, it's kill or be killed. I definitely don't feel nervous. I feel excited. Why should I be nervous? I have nothing to lose. Yeah! Cider surrounded from all angles and taken down immediately. <laughs> it was a back and forth in that first map, but ultimately found themselves in the playoffs without breaking too much of a sweat. We had North Epshin redeem themselves, knocking out Zersha. It was a squeaky win, wasn't it? Crew, right? It is heartbreaking to see them go, but Optic Gaming, they're going to be moving on. The group stage is over and playoffs is finally here. Hello, guys. Didn't see you there. <laughs> this is my room in Masters Copenhagen. Please come in. My name is Ben Kai, and I'm the in-game leader and captain of Paper Rex. My soft toy. I brought it with me to Iceland. It's a little boy. His name is Chonky. It's a frog with a very um, nervous face. Oh my god, there's gonna be a pain to take off, man. It's my buttons. It's been a couple of months since we've seen Ben Kai walk out. Paper X are ready to take on Guild. My three has been a clutch monster, though. The one, two, tap, you've got to be kidding! So every Singaporean 
male has to go through like mandatory military service at the age of 18. Jing and Russ both run out of bullets and Jing pulls out the knife for a quick shot. And when I went in, I was a instructor for a school. Oh, the pain. What? Instantaneous, man. The slide, the dash across, and of course he gets the reset off of it. So I pretty much taught them about everything, not just bullets, like artillery shells and all that. And I knew how to like control people under my watch. I'm a super competitive person, like, but I've matured in the sense that I don't mind losing anymore. Ah! Paper X, in my opinion, almost unbeatable. They make their way for the first time in Masters into this upper bracket. Here we go again. That looks like another nail in Fnatic's coffin. Boaster has struggled. It comes down to the 1v1. The blade sword comes out. Oh! Oh! Dash in! And he closes it like that! Fnatic are sent home! I think we got knocked out first. I've kind of wiped that one from my brain. It's the EBA number one seed. It's no secret that they are a serious contender. They're expected to go deep here. So since Masters 1, we've had two roster swaps, that being Alfia and Enzo have now joined. <laughs> and practice, practice. And action. Oh, very good, very good. Enzo was actually a substitute in the last event and he performed pretty well. And then Alfia, he just brings the firepower. He's the 17-year-old legend from Turkey. But he's just uh, another Durka who's just confident and just wants to go kill. And so I've got two strats now, Durka go kill and Alfia go kill. This event, we are super confident. I'm here to take the trophy. I've been working out, I wanna be lifting it. We are also managing our expectations. So we're not going into games expecting we're going to win because everyone is here because they believe that they can win the tournament. The top two seeds from EMEA is Fnatic and FPX. Finish tonight again! FPX, they just keep running out of time! Oh my God. Fnatic with an absolute decimation! FPX, they got slammed. That means we secure champions. It means we secure champions. Guild and FPX in the lower bracket. Get ready for this epic confrontation between two incredible teams, PaperX versus Fnatic. I wonder what they're gonna do. Are they gonna ban Split? Are they gonna ban Icebox? They ban Breeze. <laughs> oh, that's a good ball. <laughs> we, ban, we ban Icebox. I think of Bolster as the personality that I look up to the most. I was kind of sad that we couldn't do uh, the walkout that we planned together. Paper X, they're really good at adapting on the fly. This is a scary team in this competition. Fnatic are probably one of the best teams in the world in terms of thinking about contingencies for what might go wrong. Jing oh. clearing every angle on the way through, but he'll still lose his life. Oh. Nice recovery, guys. As a player, I think he is super creative with the way he approaches the game. Nah. Because you can kind of see that translate into like the kind of agent compositions that they run on different apps. Obviously, I've watched some of Paper X's games. This team plays a style of Valorant that is fast-paced, in your face. The hyper-aggression. Their play style is so different to EMEA. And once again, Mind Freak is going to win it. Paper X, they have taken map one. Don't stress about the rounds. Don't stress about the clutches. Everyone take a deep breath when we're in those situations. Don't think about if we shouldn't be losing to a team like this because every team in this event deserves to be at this event. They don't know if he expects them to be close, but it doesn't matter. The shot's flat and Divide delivers. Paper Rucks are going to the upper final. It seems like this team just has a date with destiny. I don't really fixate on who the other opponents are. I didn't think about, oh my god, that's poster, you know. I'm just kind of focused on how I can get my team to win the game. 
DRX of the team that everyone should be fearing. And they've been dominant. DRX in the final hour! The optic is clicking on all cylinders, and that's a scary sight. <laughs> Unstoppable. Optic don't lose. Welcome back, everyone. It's DRX versus Optic Gaming. We know that. We have a slight bit of a rivalry since we knocked them out the last time. They definitely have something to prove. We have something to prove. Split bind, ascent bind, final map bind, defense pick. Good luck, guys. Like us, but in general, they play literally exactly like us. And their first band was Haven. Yeah. Like, it makes no sense. Stacks here gets it down to a 1v1 finesse, fully armored up, and the flash to swing out. And Stacks, what was that? <laughs> for that map to end 13 to 4 as Optic get punched in the mouth. 겨냥했겠다. 겨냥하다 했다기보다는 부담감이 이겨냈는데 그런 성격이 좀 있긴 하겠지만 but it stacks in 1v2. But it won't matter. Optic win 13-4. Yo, yell now! Why are you quiet? Yell! Say something, please! DRX has to find a solution. I was having a rough game personally, and luckily for me, everyone's just getting their shots. Showstopper the dash out and Mark drops him instantly! Another thrifty round win to get Optic to map point. I'm very grateful for my teammates. Optic with face like Flint, set forward and march on. The second time this year they find themselves at a Masters event, going for the repeat. DRX run the risk of repeating what happened at Reykjavik. To get past sixth place that has haunted them since Masters 1. They need to win this match. I think I should have been in Iceland. I was thinking about it. I was doing a good job, but I was a little bit of a counter to the other people. I didn't think about it. The time we were at that time, we didn't think about it. I 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 didn't think about it. 저 어떻게 보면은 원래는 이럴 게 없었던 일인데 저희보다 더 많은 압박을 받았고 Data just put on a clinic DRX4 Optic their ticket booked to the grand finals Our break for Zeta Division <웃음> 네, 이겨내야지 이제 조금 더 발전할 수 있다고 생각을 하고 If you were to have to have a sub, I hope it's not Sagetsu We have a new X Factor, it's Sagetsu win This ain't a rematch, this is a brand new clean slate Face your fears! <웃음> Oh, and he's got Zest! And he knows! No way! Where's Dax? He needs nobody else! Sugetsu is a god at this! I don't think you saw it like a fix in the full power, at least at this point of tournament. For all the marbles, an angel denies! History repeats itself once again for the RX. FBX, literally the phoenix from the ashes right now, coming together. あしみや。あしみ。ちょっと待ってくれ。よいこの森で。チャンスって知ってるから来てよ。シーソンがね、大変だと大変だと思う。もちろん、끝なんもどろ上げてるよ。こんなもん。こう、こう、もう。段階じ
inspired me to play, it'd be like a bit disappointing. So. I don't think we played steel to the potential that I believe we can. I think we've been going at full throttle Ferrari mode, and I think we just need to turn into like a Fiat 500 and take a breather, have a have a little <laughs> chill. Oh, hey, Enzo. If you say Ferrari, I come. Instantly. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a couple of days out, but when you come yeah. back, we're going to have an audience. We're going to have the top four teams in the world. They don't know they're in the presence of a top three masters team. <laughs> I think they'd be brave enough to fight us on Biden. Probably. How nice is that stage though? It is unreal. Wow. Honestly, they do such a good job every single time. I feel like they're gonna do the hockey mindset of we can take them on this map, then they'll over and teach us. That's why I feel it's gonna happen. Hey for X, they've won both of their matches and they haven't dropped a map yet. Congratulations everyone. We did well, we got to the main stage now. It's not over yet. We got three games left. We gotta get back and get back to work. The number one seeded EMEA fanatic. But who also would have known that these four teams will be the ones that had to make it this far as well? Optic Gaming, our defending champs, they had a bad day one. But since that loss, they have won four straight matches. Who's that? Yes, yes. Just don't fight them. They look scary. <laughs> for the first time, we've had an audience for a Valorant Global Championship event. It's been two years. Yeah. It's been a long time. My heart is beating at a million miles per hour. Sometimes I look at these other teams and you can see it on their faces that they take it so seriously and they are just forgetting to have fun, you know? <laughs> like they're like playing like their lives depended on it. It's in the back of my mind for sure, the fact that we could potentially, you know, win a second one, but it's definitely not something that I think about all the time. Or the focus right now is Paper X and how we're gonna do versus them. Yeah, I don't really have stage fright, but I'm just kind of looking forward to bringing a show for everyone and just showing what my team can do. Winning this gets you a spot in the Grand Finals. It is a hyper-important match. Phenomenal response from Optic after losing that first map. This third map looking like a foregone conclusion here as Bankai gets it to half. He's going to have to do it by himself. And no, Finesse does it at the end. 13 to 9 responses. We're headed to map 3. We're headed to Fracture, baby. Dude, they have no fight. It's just for sake. It's one guy. So once we get that kill, the round is literally over if we don't throw it away. How Optic deal with this is going to be super intriguing because if they end up losing this map, the rest of the series might be looking incredibly one-sided. They do have a chance to respond here. They have to if they want to lock in the Grand Finals today. Hang on to your butts. We're headed to Fracture. And what a perfect place to decide who wins this series. It's actually the Finesse. Who gets three at the end there? Clean out from Optic. Showstopper, and here it goes. Jin goes up top. Lands the shots onto Victor in 2v2 here. He's gonna get a shot at the second. The crowd feeling it. Yay, outnumbered. And it's not gonna happen. History books have a finite amount of pages. And Paper X's story is not done yet. We actually just need to chill and relax and like just take things slow, like talk to each other like normal. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Just I've been here before. This is an age-old tale of the EMEA rivalry. 
It's still an elimination game. This is the one that gets you into that lower final. This is the most important game they're both going to face against each other. To just go to an event and have people supporting us. It's left on to the IGL. TP in the way. He's managed He's to avoid it. it. The time is already gone. Fnatic are going to take map number one. Because everyone kind of screaming when you get a kill or win a round, it really it does take you out of the game and you just think like, what is this world we're kind of living in right now? It's crazy. Yeah. 12-9 oh, down and we got to overtime. That is impressive, boys. I'm proud seconds. of you. 30 seconds. 8-4. Yeah. I must be the best idea okay, in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one great shot out of Mystic. Sagetsu's known. They know exactly where he's coming oh, from and no. he won't win the duel. Fnatic come out on top. I honestly don't know why we started off slow every game. It's like, essentially, we were gifting the enemy teams we played like four free rounds at the start, and then we'd actually decide to kind of turn up to the game. And this time, it's not happening. To be a classic, it has to go to all three maps, and that's exactly where FPX will take us. The way that I say it is that because I'm the leader, I'm also the one who sets the atmosphere when it comes to emotions. Yeah, I need to set the example of like work ethic and um, I need to lead the way. Let's have a good start, let's have a good start, let's have a good start. Let's actually not get behind at the start. Come on. And a number of the fanatic, they're being thinned out! FBX have done it! They finally bested their EMEA opponents! When FPX won the game, I was just kind of feeling, oh, I guess this feeling again, great. I know this feeling very well now. Just not good enough yet, I'm just not good enough. Too many stupid mistakes, it just happens. Uh, I do think we should still be proud of what we've achieved, but whether I'm satisfied or not is another question. Fnatic have had their number almost every single time, but the time it matters most is when FPX rise. And now, they're the only EMEA team left. The pieces are falling into place. One more match to decide which two teams are gonna meet in the grand finals. We're gonna have North America's Optic Gaming taking on the EMEA's Fun Plus Phoenix. Put to bed by Angel, 13 seconds now. Angel's watching it. He's watching it, the battle of the IGLs, and Angel wins that out. FPX force Optic to bend the knee here. No, he wasn't. He we was like, he was like, the comms. Yeah, it was just comms. Everyone has we to have to be better comms. Do not go out like this, bro. Speak more, not less. Actually. And now it's going to be three. Yeah, yeah, bless the Crashies need a miracle. And Crashies can't provide it. And yeah, he's been found to right, get right, to right. in the back lines. And FNS, the last one standing. That was my fault that round. 13 to 8, FPX looking mean right now. We need one yeah. map, dude. We need one map and we're back. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Do I have it? Do I have yeah. it? Yes, yes, yeah. we have it. They won this map over with. They are not down and they are not out yet. Optic, hold on. I'm saying like, let's just take it 15 seconds later. Me, hit us three. Okay. And then just run him down. Take aim in fast and entirely. They rely on yeah, the aiming they're control. They're playing like how. So they're playing room. how people should play. Yeah, exactly. Oh. They have so much room. Hey, Jake has canteen. Pushing canteen. Yeah, this is good, Jake. Definitely. There's two, at least. One inside, just, just one, just one. Right. Only one site. One canteen, one site. Last player safe. feeling of winning is just nothing compared to when you lose a game. I just hate the feeling of it. It felt like, even though we're capable of being the best team in the world, we didn't feel like that this event.
Yeah, I definitely feel responsible. I think I could have called a little bit better. I could have played a little bit better, but I guarantee us not one other teammate of mine doesn't feel that way. And we take losing the same, we take winning the same. You know, you're not going to win them all, so yeah. Uh, we're a new team on land, so we're not sure who is gods here, who is kings. So I'm sorry if we managed to do something wrong, and it wasn't a hard match. Yeah. What do you mean to do with this now? Now I've just got this. My name is Lauren Pansy Scott. Uh, I'm a commentator. I'm 30 years old, and it sounds like I've just had a dating profile. Hi. The interesting concept of the final that we actually have is that we have two very contrasting styles. I think most people who know who FPX are knew they'd be good, but I don't think many of us knew they'd be this good. Grand finals good. And then on the other side, you have Paper X from a region that doesn't often get representation to these degrees. And they're showing it. You can come to these events and still be that good. Thank you. We were early. Yeah, actually, pretty good in the sense. Maybe the best ones. I think we might have split. Right? Quickly, Paper X band split, ascent, first picks bind. All right, cool. That's a lot, guys. Good luck, guys. Good luck. It's probably the biggest stylistic mismatch of a final we'll ever get. And that to me is the most exciting element of this because I don't think it's a Cinderella story for either of these. They're not underdogs anymore. They come from minor regions, but they're playing in major tournaments and they're going to grand finals. So, so he's wearing a custom sweatsuit, custom corsage, yeah, and a little pearl necklace. And he's going to get some wonderful makeup. We practice the pose. You want to show me a pose? Here we oh. go. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm starting to think that my walkouts kind of like get into people's heads. They were laughing at it backstage, but maybe in the back of their heads, they're like, he thinks we're a joke. Let's show him what we got. I think we're the team who have the most chances stopping Pyrrhix because uh, we have a structure. This guy, absolute menace in the clutch, over and over again. And if there was any hope of Paper X making their way back, boy, scattered to the winds. 30 seconds left. He's just walking backwards, oh. though. Into the sideline of Divine. Let's go. That puts Paper X back level in the series. <laughs> I hope we'll have enough structure to deal with their aggressiveness. We will shut down the chaos. Let me remind you as well, Brendan, that that was a 6-6 first half. Squeezing him from the back of halls. Down still jing the central play. So get through! FBX sensing the blood in the water. If I were to change anything, I would say putting my team in the right mentality, maybe. Tell them that it was okay to lose and they shouldn't be expecting to win. But with 15 seconds left, it's all but done. It's all down to Angel and he can't handle it. Paper X are taking us to a fifth. We're very close, and probably you guys thinking of winning and stuff, right? Just yeah, get out of drop, okay, drop yeah. that fucking shit. Yeah. Just reset, okay? Just have fun, okay, boys? Yeah. We're going there full meme style, okay, boys? Yeah. Let's go out with a bang, okay? Yeah. You gotta pummel this yeah, fucking yeah. b-ball side. We're good, right? Yeah, we're ready to. Alright, for fun, okay, boys? Okay, man. Okay, man. I think it's fine to just let my emotions come through a bit. You know, like I can't always be like joyous, you know, after all you did. I did lose in a pretty um, heartbreaking way. I do feel like a sense of accomplishment because I'm definitely just proud of my team and we never once like uh, lost sight of the mentality that we should have brought, which is just to have fun. I think just, I don't know, I'm pretty um, unsatisfied with like my performance, so I'm gonna 
spend the time that I have between now and Champions just like grinding out the game and getting to like the best form I can be. The only thing that I can promise right now is that I will do my best to get better, ready for Champions, because we still want it, and that's simple. The future of this game is being defined in front of us. There's a lot of question marks, and that's the best thing about this game. Champions, guys. We're coming back. Fnatic, like, what would it take to lift the trophy? You have some arguably the most talented players, but why did it go wrong again? So they got comfortable. They came to the international tournament, and suddenly it's all eyes on them, right? I, I think Fnatic are fine. I want them to stay as five and just graft, grind for a while, learn to be as a team. I've kind of gotten used to losing, gotten used to what it is to be a competitor. Um, you win, and the wins feel great. The losses, they don't feel great. Not a lot can be helped from that. And there's only one more event left, and it's Champions. And it's kind of like the final hurdle now. And it's now or never, that's what it is. And Champions is going to be the one. I don't know, FNS, does he bounce back? Does he find value in, in North America with this squad and actually really find a way to break in against EMEA, which has been their bogeyman the whole time? I love my teammates, I love my team, I love that we are able to communicate at a very mature level. We definitely disappointed ourselves, but we should be able to win champions if we're going to try to do better this year. So you've got Benkai changing how people see this game. The guy is so personable, so incredibly funny, kind, a great leader, a great person to be around. But he walks on stage and he's the most intimidating person once he sits down in that chair and starts playing the game. He commands the audience. What you can expect from Ben Kai, um, being able to keep consistent results. Not necessarily winning the events back to back, but just being consistent. And I think Paper X is going to be able to do that, especially with the way that we just lost. Uh, it just really motivates you, you know, like you just want to get it even more often. And what it means for the future is we get more fans in the buildings, we get the audience with us. These teams get to feel what it's like because there is no feeling in the world like this 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 is what it's about is being on that stage being in that crowd watching it with your friends at home wherever it is but being part of something i feel like champions is um, the most important tournament of the year kings and uh, gods should be crowned there right <laughs>